temporary invasive pacing of the myocardium is used for a variety of arrhythmias that cause loss of cardiac output and often is an emergency procedure. The output threshold is the minimum amount of energy required to capture the myocardium and cause depolarization. To find output threshold, follow the steps outlined in this video. During a threshold check, the patient must be on continuous cardiac monitoring. Ensure you inform your colleagues that you are performing the check and emergency equipment is readily available. Explain to the patient that they may briefly become lightheaded during the checking procedure. If the patient is not being paced, then increase the pacemaker rate to 10 above the patient's rate. If the patient is already in a paced rhythm, turn the pacemaker rate down and observe the ECG monitor for the patient's intrinsic heart rhythm. Obtain a rhythm strip. Decrease the output setting until loss of capture occurs and note the numeric value. Increase the output setting until you just see that capturing is occurring. This is called the stimulation threshold or capture. It is usually measured in milliamps for temporary pacemakers and volts for permanent pacemakers. You then set the output at double the threshold and add one as a safety margin to prevent loss of capture. Capture is both an electrical and a mechanical event. Electrical capture is indicated by a pacing spike followed by a corresponding P wave or QRS complex. Mechanical capture is assessed by feeling for a pulse or checking blood pressure.